One question we're frequently asked is, what size am I going to be after a breast reduction? And although that sounds like a simple question, it's maybe not as simple as it sounds. There are some constraints that we have to work with when we're taking away breast tissue and then trying to reshape the breast and make it look appropriate. One issue is the, the width across of the breast. That has to do with your chest wall and what we're starting with and nothing we do can actually change that part. I can change the volume of the breast but it's still as wide across and with that it may require a larger cup size just to accommodate that breadth across of things than what you'd actually want as far as volume. Now also too we have to be worried about maintaining a good blood supply to the breast, the tissue that's left behind and if we take too much we end up losing the blood supply and so we'll lose that tissue too and then we're just way worse than we started with. So there, we have to have a realistic expectation of how much can go away. Now also we want to take enough to improve symptoms. Usually when a patient requires a breast reduction it's because they have back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, shoulder grooving, all those fun things that go along with it. We want to make sure that we take enough that it's going to make a difference. And um, they've shown through literature that um, at least 250 to 300 grams of tissue does make a, a, a reasonable difference in function. Um, that's half a, um, half a pound of breast tissue per side. Usually we can get that if somebody has those symptoms, but sometimes we can't, and or sometimes a person wants to stay larger than that and you know not, not go down to that size. And then in those situations, you have to compromise, maybe not getting rid of the symptoms for keeping the breast size you want. Um, also, remember, not all bras are, con are exactly the same. Um, very often, the same breast can fit in different breast sizes from breast different breast manufacturers. More than anything, we can usually tell you how much of a percent of the breast tissue that we can take away um, from exam beforehand, and then just realize we have to kind of equate later what cup size that actually is.